Synthesia is an online AI video platform that allows you to easily create professional videos using AI avatars. You can let these characters do all the hard work for you. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn your website or a PDF document or even a simple idea into a professional video so that you will never have to be in front of a camera again. I will show you how to add AI avatars into your video to do the talking and also how to connect those avatars with your slideshow so that these different words trigger different actions in your slideshow to make it more interactive. And lastly, I will also show you how to translate your video into over 70 languages. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to create professional videos for global audiences without any technical knowledge or video editing experiences. Alrighty, so here's what the Synthesia webpage looks like. And by the way, if you want to follow along by repeating what I do in this video, just feel free to click the link in the description to activate your free trial to this service. But nonetheless, let's get started. So let me show you what this tool is capable of doing. So the first thing we need to do is get started for free. So we can click on this button. It will then give you an option to activate your free trial, then sign up. Alrighty, and once you have signed up and answered your questions, you can start to create your first video. So for example, let's do like a sales training video. I can click on the sales training here and click on start creating. And then you need to tell the AI what you want to make the video about. So for example, you can click on this shuffle prompt to get these different inputs for the AI. So this is basically the part where you tell the AI exactly what you want to do in similar words and text as if you were talking to a real professional video maker. So we can click on this shuffle button as many times as we want to trigger these different AI prompts here. And for example, here it says structure video used as intro come on policy update regarding work from anywhere program. Well, let's actually roll with this and then the audience, we can also describe this to the AI. So for example, here it says sales teams, let's say beginner, beginner sales teams looking to grow the user base. And here you're once again letting the AI know what kind of a training session you want it to create to cater towards this specific audience. And then if you have a Word document or a PDF file where you have some information that you want to share in your presentation, you can also drag and drop it here. So you can click on this button to activate or to select a file from your computer. But we're going to skip that for now because I just want to show you what this is capable of doing. So let's do create video. And this lands you to the video assistant page. And right now it is starting to create or it's actually already writing these AI scenes for the training video. So as you can see, it is putting together text here in real time and it is labeling these scenes with a number. So there we have scene number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, and so on. And then on the left-hand side, we have this prompt that we use to create this video. We have this template. So for example, here we can click already. Um, yeah, it says Christmas because we have Christmas coming around, but we can click on these templates to choose a different presenter and a different layout. So for example, I like this one that we have here, but I think that this one right here looks even cooler. So we can use that as a template to make the presentation look different. And I, if I choose the template, I'm going to see these different slides that are just examples. And then if I like this, for example, these ones that I see here, I can just click on use template. And then we can specify the duration of this training session. So for example, here, we have the length of the scene. And right now on the right hand side, we have eight scenes. We can do something like even 23. Let's do five for simplicity for now. And then we can also choose these different things. For example, language, speaker, tone, objective. So let's do tone, let's do casual, let's do language in English. 
We could do it in a lot of different languages, as you can see here. So we have tens of different languages that we can choose from. And then once I have set everything up here, we can click on generate again. So basically all I did was I fine tuned my input, what I had already laid down there because I wanted to change the tone and to do a different template and a different number of scenes. And here we have it. So now we have five scenes here. And now this, this looks good to me on a surface. I am going to click on continue in editor right now. And this will now open up the AI video editor. So right now I am going to be able to, I'll actually resize the window a bit. I'm going to be able to impact on all the things in this presentation, not just the input or not just the tone of voice. But now I can adjust absolutely everything here. So for example, here on the left hand side, you see the scenes. Let's click on this first scene. So you can click on any one of these, but let's click on the first one to activate it. And now let's click on this AI avatar and we can move her around like this. I can make her bigger or smaller if I want to. And by the way, as you can see, it has added this logo here. So this is one of my websites. I just added it in for fun as the company page for this demonstration video and actually the AI picked it up here. So this is now on brand with my website. So the colors that you see here are directly from my website, which is pretty incredible. So if you want to make these on brand videos, all you need to do is just sign up with your company web page and it will automatically design these pages so that they have the same colors as your brand. Right now, let's get rid of some of these elements here. Let's expand this one. And right now we can see that there is actually a problem. So the sales strategies, the S is on the next line. And also the same goes with this text right here. So we can actually highlight this text part and we can drag it to the left so that the words are in one line. And here I can change the font. So let's do like 60. Well, that's way too small. Let's do 120 and then let's stretch it back so that the words are on these two separate lines, but let's not stretch it too far so that this doesn't happen again. And by the way, at any point, if you would like to, you can play your slideshow and you can play any particular slide you want to. So for example, here we have the scene number two. I can click on this play button to play that scene. And if I do this, it will start to present so it will not only lay down these things here one by one but it will also talk through this entire slide and um, it's going to use the voice actor and the ai actor that you chose right here so she will be talk talking in this presentation and then once you're all set with the outlook of your presentation you can start to tweak the text around and by the way if you don't see the text fully you can click on this part to drag and resize the scene. So here we can, for example, focus on the text. And right now you can delete any words if you want to. You can write something more here if you need to. And also one thing that I really love about this software is that you have these different effects that you can tie in to your presentation. So for instance, here we have the first sentence that says that first, let's talk about the power of personalization. Now. If I click on this power word, or actually if I click on this, like this kind of an arrow at the top of it, you can see that there is a move in transition animation here. If I click on that, we can see that there is a 1.12 second animation that is a smooth velocity move in transition with a zero second delay. And all this sounds technical, but all this is actually doing is that once the presenter is saying the word power, the AI or the tool is going to render this power of personalization section here at the slideshow. And in a very similar fashion in the next sentence, where it says in today's market, customers expect a personalized experience. This word personalized has a mixed animation. And here we have two animations. So first and foremost, this text personalized experience is going to appear. 
So when I click on this, we can see that it has a smooth transition at a duration of one second. And now if I click back here, we can also see that this image, it is called Gorodenkov, it is also going to appear here. And we can play the animation to see what it would look like. So for instance, if I click on this left hand side button, this left arrow, it is going to do this left fading. And also if I click on the right hand side, it is going to do that. And then if I click on the upward arrow, it is going to bring the person from the below. And if I'm going to do the downward arrow, it is going to bring the person up from the above. And this is exactly what it's going to look like in the real presentation. And you can choose the duration here. So for instance, let's do two seconds. If we do two seconds, you're going to see that it's going to take a bit longer. So for instance here, that is a two second animation right now. And if we do point, let's say point two, let's do 0 0.25 seconds, you can see that the animation is super fast. So you can also have control pretty much over everything here. I think that the one second animation look really good. So we can go with that. Yeah, that looks pretty smooth. And um, if you don't like this, you can just delete these triggers. And right now I'm going to play this entire scene. So as you can see, it is going to read it out loud and it is going to have these triggers play out or fire whenever we're in a specific part of this text. So this is making it a bit more interactive than just having a boring little slideshow that has this text that is synthesized out loud where nothing really moves and where it is all boring and where all your people are going to fall asleep during the next slide or during the second slide. And that's how you can customize the text. Then you can also choose a music to play as your background. So we have a lot of music tracks here. We can do basically all of these. You can just click those to activate and you can also control the volume here. And if you have a long slideshow, it can be useful to have the looping enabled. So if your song is only like a minute in length and the slideshow is, let's say, four minutes, you don't want the music to cut out all of a sudden. So this one makes sure that the music is repeating at the background. And in my experience, I would say that it is good to keep the music very, very low on volume. So I would do something like five to 10 percent. And um, yeah, you can change the background media. So, for example, if we click on this background media here, we can do some videos. You can also find some images to play as your background when you are doing your presentation. So for instance, let's do this one. As you can see right now, it changed the entire background and I'm not liking this one. So I'll go, I'll go and do Command Z or Control Z if you're using Windows to undo what I just did. We can do something different. For instance, let's go something like this. This looks decent, but it's still like taking um, it is introducing a lot of contrast in this presentation, so let's not do that. Even though this image has nothing I would complain about, but yeah, I think this simple presentation slide is actually pretty good. And also you can tweak the color. So as I said before, this is using my company colors right now because I dropped or I entered my website when I was signing up. So it is fetching these colors directly from my website but I can do anything I want to. So I can do a little bit more smooth color gradient because even though I like the color or the company colors that I have on my website, I don't think that that makes a good gradient. So we can do something a bit more subtle here. And um, then we can also replace the scene layout by clicking the replace button. This allows you to swap your current slides layout with something else. So for instance, let's do replace scene with this one. And now it has added a completely new slide. And before you go live with your video presentation, it is first and foremost important that you click on this play button to preview your video. So this will open up this uh, different kind of a view where you can actually see what your presentation would look like right now with all the elements with the ai avatar in place and stuff like that and please don't get confused by the fact that this ai avatar is not speaking in this live previews and that is simply because it takes some resources and computational power to render the talking head or the talking avatar version of this avatar so if you see this presentation slides where you just have this kind of a empty or like an image of the avatar that is not doing anything 
that is normal, that is not going to take place once you render your video. So this is just a preview. And they are doing this to save your time and to save resources. So if you're not happy with what you see here, you can still move things around before you generate your video. And also one thing that might be useful is you can also invite people. So you can click on this invite button and you can add these emails here to send this presentation through email to the people that you want to preview this presentation with before you publish it with, for example, your sales team. And you can also choose the access level. So, so you can invite people to take a look at your presentation. And also if you have a paid plan, you can invite those to edit your presentation. So you can basically in invite an entire team to do the presentation with you without all you having to gather together with one desk and do all the editing with one computer. So that's pretty useful. You can also copy a link to this page from here that you can send anywhere, your group chat, whatever, if you just want people to quickly have a look at the preview of the presentation. But once you're ready, you can click on generate. And this one will render your AI presentation. So now it's no longer a preview. Now there is no longer just a boring AI avatar that is not saying anything, but it's actually a presentation where the avatar is also interactive and speaking the words that you have laid down here in the presentation. So if I click on this, it will take about 10 minutes for the AI to present this or to generate this presentation for you to present it to your audience. Welcome to how to make sales. This slideshow will share proven strategies to attract customers, close deals, and grow your revenue. Let's dive in.